in Soweto, the 50-year-old grandmother of one of the two boys killed last month is expected back in court today. She will appear alongside her partner in the Protea Magistrates Court. Nobile Ndlovu and Mtunzi Zulu face several charges, including murder, perjury and defeating the ends of justice. The duo were arrested last week, days after the children's mutilated bodies were found after they were missing. It's understood that the boys, aged five and six, were playing when an unknown man forced them into a car and drove off. A third boy did manage to escape. Well, Zikona Chona is tracking that story for us, and uh, she joins us live now. Uh, Zikona, good morning to you. The community in Soweto, surely they must, they must still be enraged. These boys were only laid to rest last week Friday. In fact, the first appearance of the two accused happened at the same time as the funeral and outside court, residents of White City, where is, which is where the two boys are from, um, protested outside court. They want the court to deny the two suspects a bail. And Nobi Lenjovu, as well as Mtunzi Zulu, face several charges, as you've mentioned. They include two counts of murder, as well as defeating the ends of justice. The courtroom, currently as we speak, is filled by activists, as well as family members of the two boys who've come out to court to witness court proceedings for the first time and among them is the mother of one of the boys Nomtana Zulu. Mama, you court I'm That's it. Because we the mother of Nobizi Tazulu, one of the boys whose bodies were found in Soweto uh, about two weeks ago, saying she's not okay. She came here. She just wants to see the suspects in this matter and really having really harsh words about how she would want to see events turning out in these court proceedings and also urging police and the justice system to play its role in ensuring that the families do get justice. We are expecting court proceedings to start any moment from now. Last week, the two suspects did tell the court that they intend to apply for bail. The state did say it will oppose their release on bail. Thank you very much. Those comments, yeah.